These are the top five highest selling hockey cards in the secondary markets last week. You ready? Let's go. Let's do it. I want to see what they are. Come on. All right. Here we go. Number yes. five, 1979, Tops Wayne Gretzky BVG9. Sold for $10,200 US dollars by the Fanatics Collect Premier Auction. Now, Phil, this was down 12% from its previous sale in May of 2023. And guess what? The all time high in this card? 38,400 US in April of 2023. Uh, are we at a good time to buy Gretzky or what? I think there's never a bad time to buy Gretzky. Unfortunately, I love tops. And I'm saying unfortunately because I think it's a better card than OPG. So I love seeing this hit the top five. This is, well, it's better card stock. It's better, it's brighter. I, I actually like both a lot, but I think this is a great price. I actually find this extremely low for a tops nine. But if you look at most of the tops, if you find a tops eight, I bet you won't be able to find a big difference. <laughs> yeah, and there'd be a difference in price between a PSA nine and a BGS nine. So BG, if you look by the card, not the grade, you could maybe get a good deal on a BGS nine. Completely. I mean, wh why would this not be a 10? I would love to hold this in hand, you know? Maybe a little white in the mm -hmm. top right corner there, but beautiful card. Know. Beautiful Maybe card. you should buy Thank one you. you get that opportunity, hey? <laughs> we'll see. I've been irresponsible enough lately after the expo. I need, a, I need a bit of a reset. Okay. We ready to move on to number four? Yeah, let's do it. I hope it's another Wayne Gretzky. Oh, you think so? What well, guess? Who do you think the player will be? Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> You're right. I'm buying a lottery it, ticket. It. There we go. You got nice. it. Nice. This 2015 SP Authentic Connor McDavid Future Watch Auto out of 999 PSA 10 and Auto 10 grade sold for 13,800 US via the Fanatics Premier Auction as well. Now, this is a pop 16 card with that PSA 10 Auto 10 grade. And while it sold for 13,800 this past week, the card has sold as high as 33,600 US again. In the Fanatics premiere in February 2023. You like this card or what? I do love this card. It's an iconic card. It's a must have for everybody in their personal collection, but I think only 0.1% of the hobby can ever have it in their personal collection. What is the previous high? 30,000? Well, in February 2023. So, what is that like just under two years ago, year and a half ago, something That's like that? 33,600. Wow. What a delta of a difference. But, anyways, I, I would love this card raw. Uh, congratulations to the person that got their PSA 10 and their auto 10. I'm glad that's the way you hobby. I would much rather a raw and I don't even know how much a raw would go for, but I would assume about half this price. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe like six, seven, 8,000. Now, yeah. if you had a raw, what would be a bigger concern to you that the condition of the card is perfect or that the, you like the auto that you, the quality. I would. Auto? I would be leaning towards a nice auto because 999 times Connor had to sign his autograph. So yeah. I would I would be looking for a nice auto. I would even take it a bit off centered because with these kinds of cards, you wouldn't really notice it's that off center because it doesn't have a border, you know? Mm -hmm. And you're going to get hit on that for the grade. So you could have a perfect card, perfect auto, a very nice looking card and a very nice looking auto. But if it's a bit off center, you'll get an eight or a nine from PSA. When the card, um, the eye appeal would smash it out of the park for most people, you know? Yeah, good point. Okay, let's move on to number three. And no, Phil, this is not a mistake. What? Another. Two of the 16 now. Yeah, so that's right. It's a another 2015 Connor McDavid Future Watch Auto out of 999 PSA 10 Auto 10. So for 201 more dollars via eBay <laughs> last week, 14,100 US. So that's pretty wild where you have 16 graded or copies of this graded or graded copies of this card. And yeah, I don't know. I don't like this one. I like the other one more. The one that sold for cheaper. His autograph seems nicer on the other one. Really? Yeah. Look at that. Nice crisscross. Ah. What do you like, Josh? I like number four as well. I think it is okay. a little it's a little less rushed. Maybe. Does that make sense? In perfect cursive. Yeah, there you go. I mean, they're both still pretty nice and. Yeah. Hey, we're uh, not a lot to complain with either one no, of these cards, no, but it is kind of wild. Yeah. Two sold in one week. That is pretty crazy. I mean, now's the time to buy McDavid. I think everyone's going Bedard Mania. You think so? You think it's oh. buying season for Connor? McDavid? I think it's buying season for. I'm buying. Uh, everyone's chasing Ovi, selling Ovi, mm -hmm. Bedard Mania. You know, your usual young gun crop of young guns. Everyone's prospecting. 
And here's Connor without a cup. And his prices are dropping. Yeah, there you go. Well, speaking of Ovi, your favorite guy. Number yep. two. Oh. 24,600 US. Second highest sale of the week. Is a 2007-08 The Cup, Alexander Ovechkin, and Nicholas Backstrom. Dual autographed NHL Shields 101, BGS 6. Sold for 24600 via the Fanatics Collect Weekly Auction. Now, before you react to the price on this, it's not the only OV Dual Auto or Dual Shield from 2007-8 The Cup. There's, there's more. In Ovechkin and Patrick Kane from the same product, Bill, check this out. Oh, it was a PSA authentic auto nine grade. So for 104,700 US dollars in October 2022. Uh, is that confirmed in Terapeak? Yeah. Get out of no, here. No, it wasn't in Terapeak. I think it was in uh, one of the auction big auction houses. Okay. So I guess this card seems like a steal? I guess. <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable that that would be so expensive. I guess, I mean, one of ones and. Oh man, that's that's the, the everyone says, Oh, Phil, you buy only big cards. Really? Do I? Because I don't think I no. do. No, that's, no, <laughs> it, it was October 2022, so that's like peak pandemic. Okay, sports card prices. Some rich guy, super bored at home, twiddling his thumbs in his pajamas with a little too much Bailey's in his coffee. <laughs> yeah. Now, answer this question about this card versus that Patrick Kane. We know Patrick Kane is a better player than. Nicholas Backstrom. So you get more star power with the Ovechkin Patrick Kane dual shield. But can you make the argument that it's kind of cool on this card that they're teammates and you get that whole, whole sort of vibe? I think funny you point that out, uh, Josh. Upper Deck has programmed us to not expect teammates on dual NHL autograph shields so much that we we're, we end up congratulating them when they do something that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> yeah. Autos are a little suspect on this one. You know, again, not perfect, but... They're pretty ugly. Like, you, I'll say it. You don't have to. I, I think the okay. autographs are uh, pretty weak. Maybe that's mm -hmm. why it sold uh, a lot less than the Patrick Kane one. Do you like dual autos, like, on two sides of the card, or... I do not. No. Would you prefer them be on both sides of the card, like that version? I would. There's, okay. Yeah. So, Josh, I have a question for you. What would you pay for this card? If money was no... So, I know what I would pay, and I know what I wouldn't pay... What would you pay? So this, I love the cup. These cards do not speak to me that well. So I'd like to stir the pot a little bit for ever who's watching. Yeah, I don't love the card personally. So I think I would pay for it only from like an investment perspective. Yeah, and then I'd want to get a really good deal and sell it a, as he reaches the goals records. I'm thinking like 15 to 17,000. Oh. Why well, like are you thinking less? Or more no i just i don't even i don't really aesthetically like the look of this card -za. do we is this a plural card yeah, it's no a it's card. one card right? yeah i don't know i don't like it it doesn't seem like a cup card to me like i wouldn't even pay a thousand for this all right well you're up oh well, I know. all right now you got to guess who do you think the highest selling or the player of the highest selling card of the week was hmm i'm Not gonna have to go dope. i'm gonna have to go bedard okay well here we go it's a big one 96,000 oh! US dollars. One of your favorites, the Cup RPA Gold. So it's a 2015, the Cup yeah. Connor McDavid Gold RPA at a 12 BGS 9 with the Auto 10 grade. Sold for 96,000 US dollars. Now, this is actually a new record sale for any copy of the card, graded or raw. It last sold, and the previous high was 84,000 US for a raw last December. Is this card worth 100 grand? Oh yeah, this is a car. I'd pay a hundred thousand for this. I would. Really? If I had, if I had a few money, absolutely. Yeah, okay. I would pay a hundred grand. I love this card. Uh, the nice gold card is what better card is out there? This is the card. You think so? You think even better than his true RPA at a ninety-nine? I think they're one A, one B, and one okay. A would have to be the RPA true out of ninety-nine. Yeah. I'm evolving, Josh. I'm evolving. I, know. I, know. I don't know. Well, we I all said. see it, Phil. We all see it. Now, the one thing that bugs me about these cards is that the autograph is over text. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better if it, like the text was underneath it and the autograph was all by all by its lonesome on a white background? It'd be. You know what I would do with this card? I would squish out the rookie sepia a little bit by about like 20 pixels, 
I mm -hmm. would get rid of the autographed future. I would get rid of the autographed rookie patch words, and I would put them above a 75% image Connor. And then I would have had the white. Um, I would have had the white available for his autograph above Connor McDavid. Yeah, hire me. I'm a graphic designer, obviously, clearly. So, yeah, I, I didn't quite understand that. Why don't you go and buy this card and cut it up and show me how you would make it? <laughs> I, I would just reformat the, the sizing a little bit. I think the layout is is a stunner. It's a beautiful cup card. This is one of the greatest hockey cards ever produced by Upper Deck. Well said. Well, Phil, that's your top five selling hockey cards for last week. What do you think? I think it's pretty crazy. I, I, I can't believe we're just doing this now. Can we do this again next time? I love it. Yeah. yeah. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. And we'll be back next week. See ya.